Oh, we're surrounded. Man. See? This is gonna be the problem. And that was unexpected. That's not what I wanted to do. Welcome back everybody, it's me Jason and we are here in the Mulberry Villa world or server for Creativerse. A couple things I wanted to update everybody on. Um, I found a solution for my elevator of death. So I have this elevator come straight up into a teleporter, teleporter right there, blocks me, falls from there. So let's go test this out. I'm not going to spend too much time down in the corruption area since the R30 update. Man, I have stayed away from the corruption area. These, this um, liquid isn't protecting me anymore. While this may hurt these guys, it's not gonna stop them and they just keep coming and it has become a death trap down here. So let's just test this and head back up. Okay, we're just gonna kinda look off to the side here. And it worked. Even though it glitched me on top, I will take that over the elevator of death. So, okay, I'm happy with that. I'll keep it, let's move on. So what are we gonna do today? I have a plan to make this corridor. I went ahead and did the off-camera work to put some pillars in. Not sure if I like this, but I'm gonna keep it for right now and we'll just kind of see how it goes. But I went ahead and uh, it's the same size except for this middle pillar and I decided to mirror this all the way through for the tapering off. So in this section here, we are gonna create enclosures for the pets. I don't wanna call it a zoo, but it's gonna be my pet enclosure. So I don't know, let's check the temperature, 81 degrees. Hmm, I don't think ice is gonna stay here. We're gonna test this out. And let's throw some, we're gonna do the mountain kind of guys first. So we're gonna do some building on camera here. Let's see if I can get this. Let's see if ice will stay. I'm just gonna leave that for a second. But, uh, oh, no, ah, melted, okay. All right, we're gonna have to stick with the snow then, I think. All right, so the idea is to kind of make it an enclosure with maybe something like that to kind of keep the pet in, but I can come up here and interact with them if I need to. Maybe, I'm like, this is just thinking on camera, kind of creative process. Can we get something sorted out and working? But I do want it to be like 3D. So I want it to be as if, as if it's an enclosure and you would actually expect to see the animal in this area. Like I took an editor and just chunked out a section of the server right in here and plop down some pets. So let's get this going. Junk block. Don't have a whole lot of these. I may have to go do some some resource gathering here. But we'll see how far I can get. And then I kind of want it to be like has like an overhang, if that makes sense. Will the snow melt? That's gonna be a question. I hope not. Does snow melt in this game? Let's 
So maybe something like that, a little bit more back here. If I did something like that, I got plenty of Oh, I'm out. So if I did something like that, built up the top a little bit, and then I could put my mountain pets down here. And then let's see here. So something, you know, it's pretty simple, yet enough. I don't know, see, I don't know about those lights, but I don't know any other way to kind of light this up. Hmm. Man, I really wish we could get some, we really need to be able to get ice, but you know, what can I do? Hmm, I don't know if that one's gonna work. I'll have to fill it in with the other one. So something like that maybe. And then just kind of build on it and even come out maybe up here and it can be, you know, kind of a little bit of an overhang. Yeah. Okay. I like this so far. I'm going to gather a little bit more resource so we can finish this out and then I'll bring you guys back when we have time to bring the pets over here and kind of do the final touches. Okay, I got some resources here. Let's see if we can finish this out. Don't really have a plan. I just kind of just going with it, just kind of feeling it out. Seeing if something feels natural. It's not really a right or wrong way to do this. I can tell. Maybe we'll do something like that. It's kind of dark down in here. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. Mm, I don't know if I like that. Maybe spice it up just a little bit. Yeah, it's not too bad. Let me fill in the top over there. I want, I want this whole section be covered. Man, I've been clearing out this cave after watching some of the speed runs, and I've noticed there's so much uh, magnetite, but on the speed runs, those guys can't find any of it. Let's see, maybe a final. A few final touches there. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, 
don't like this. Come on. Oh, come on. Just lots of trial and error, really. Well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Okay, well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get some pets down in here, and then we can close this off. Hmm, about can they, I guess I can block them to where they can't get in. Ooh, that really made it dark, didn't it? I may have to switch that light. To somewhere back here. Let's see. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that'll have to work. Okay, let's see. What do I have? Do I have any Arctic? Oh, I got one Arctic Miru. And, oh, I do have a, a Rambo. Okay. Let's see, follow me. Follow. Anything else, Arctic? Are those the only? I'm gonna have to work. Maybe like a, a Chizard, but they're not really. I guess this is this would be like a Tundra. Not Tundra. Uh, you know, whatever the mountain region type of pets, not. I guess I could get the chizzard. Well, the tough part will be getting them to look right. Where'd that mirror go? Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, there comes Knight. There he is. All right. Cancel that for right now. Come on in here. Okay. Stay for a second. Oh, that doesn't stop him at all, does it? Okay, that doesn't stop them at all. Hmm. I think this is really going to be the tricky part. Try to keep them. Try to keep them from running everywhere. Ah, there's a delay. Fences don't seem to stop them. And now I can't even interact with this guy. There we go. All right, come on. Come on. And just slightly. Nope. Arr, this is going to be frustrating. Let's do this. Okay, follow me. Okay. Turn around. Stop. Right there. Stay there. Oh, man. That right there is a lot harder than I expected. But now I got to get this guy to turn around. Really turn around. Oh, man, they move so fast. I can't nudge them like other games. Okay. You know what? 
right now I'm gonna keep them there okay not too bad I'm I'm somewhat happy with it I think it might come along it might come together once I have multiple enclosures going on I just don't know how I could keep them in here I might have to change these to where they come up a little bit and then over maybe because I'd like to be able to have them wander and stay in this little area. So I might have to, uh, man, I might have to uh, test that out. And uh, maybe over here, I'll fix these throw they're higher and then keep these guys in. I guess it'd have to be three blocks high, possibly. I don't know, we'll see that. Let me tweak this one and then we'll get some more materials and then maybe we'll start on a different section and see if we can keep those guys in there. All right, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, the next section. Yep, I'm going to do corruption. I don't know why, but let's go ahead. Um, so this is what I thought about doing. The pillar up, kind of a slanted roof to tie in the top and then go to the back. I don't think mobs can go up three. So that might be the answer there. But I still don't think this stops them. But, all right, we'll, we'll try it, and, you know, you guys let me know what you think. Do you like the, the three-step, not even a step, uh, the, the three-block wall or the slant to kind of mirror the pillars? Uh, just let me know what you think on that, and I'll start laying down some corruption. The hard part will be dealing with the mobs that might spawn on here when it's all said and done. Hopefully we won't have too many. If I can keep it lit enough, we shouldn't have the problem, but you never know. With my luck, it'll be a problem. So let's go dirt, all of that, might as well grab it. I always like it when projects, even though they take resources, you end up gathering just as much while you're clearing stuff out, that's always good. Okay, let's make this one nice and thick. I'm thinking I want the wood to kind of come way out. Oh, I'm out of wood. Already? Okay. Let's go see. Oh man, I am. Okay. Um, Let's do it. Let's just go down there in the corruption right now. We'll grab some wood and then we'll get out of here. You guys can come with me. Stuck it. Oh, we're surrounded. Man. See? This is going to be the problem. And that was unexpected. That's not what I wanted to do. I've got to get out of that area to fight. I'm gonna have to do what Curious Key and Two Indoor did when they were doing their speed runs where they just clear out an area. So there's tons of space that you can run around, move. Oh, geez, this is it's gonna be deadly. All I want is some wood. Where is it? There's some right there. It's gonna get so much deadlier. See, and here comes a guy already.
and they track them so far away. No, get out of there. Oh my goodness. Come on. Oh, that hot key is going to kill me. Come on. Got to get healed up. See, and as I'm healing, I'm wasting time to grab the wood. Oh. All I want to do is build a little project. Come on. I'm going to need some of that stuff. Okay, we can get rid of that. Plenty of it. Here comes another mirror. Okay, more wood, more wood, more wood. Just want to get this stuff and get out of here. All right, I think that's good for now. Let's get out of here. Have to find another way to protect this area. Nice. I'll take it. Okay, let's finish this guy up. I want it to make it look like there's roots going out. And like a big tree. Do you hear that? Oh, that scared me. Okay, a big tree with lots of leaves. So the leaves can come way out. And the leaves will actually be the ceiling part like we did before. I'll tell you one thing I'm ready for Creativeverse to do is to understand that if somebody owns land or has claimed it, that they can stop giving these borders. I mean, I, this, is a, this border right here is so annoying and I own everything around it. Why, does that, why is that still there? They should sink all the borders up because I don't need to know, I don't need to know where the border is within my own area. Well, 
That's going to be a problem. Both of those guys are going to be a problem. Come on. Man. I'm telling you, this game got so much deadlier. No, it's not even funny. It makes it so hard to build consistently because I'm constantly having to fight things off. I gotta tell you, that's one of the reasons I haven't been back as much. I'm not really a fan of the new update. I mean, I still like the game, but I, I'm in the building part. I have figured out the survival aspect of it and the fighting and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I want to do more of this. And I'm constantly having to, to battle off things and and try to survive, so to speak, when really I don't, it's not what I need to do anymore. I just want to see how great the builds can be. I feel like I'm a noob again, trying to survive all the time. Let's fill those in. I mean, not that big of a deal. I know it's, it comes and goes, it'll get better, it'll get worse. But, you know, that's just how I feel at the moment. All right, well, I'm out, so about as much as I'm gonna get right there. And I'm not sure, maybe, Bring this back. I'm not sure what to do with this extra wall. Because it kind of needs to be, be a void. Because it's not like a mountain like on this other side. You know, it's the, it's the corruption. It goes on. Kind of in a void. So maybe I go back. Oh, I got an idea. I go back a couple blocks. I'll drop corruption water from the from the top flowing down. And it'll kind of just go into the abyss there. We'll see if that works. So if I do that, this part... Yeah, let me clear this out. Let me clear out one more. Okay, so clear out here. kind of gives me an idea that maybe I'll do the same. I can do the same for the lava. I can have it to where, see stone here. Oops, didn't want to do that. That goes there. Let's see. It's a little, little not the lava. The corruption water will come all the way back one block. Do I even need it to go back that one? So we'll do, yeah, we'll do stone over here. That can be a void. It'll come right down here. So I can put it up there, drops down. Let's make sure I know exactly where it's going. No surprises. Mm. 
don't even know if I have enough of this stuff. Okay. All right. Just for the time being. Okay. Got some lag there for a minute. Okay, so that's where it's going to drop down. I hope, I don't know how see-through it is. We're going to have to find out. All right, let's get away from the corruption. Got more mobs that are going to come attack me. See, now, yeah, that's looking pretty good. I like that. And then up there, I can just put some some dirt or stone or something. I like that. Let's go get that corruption water. Well, that's fun. See, man. Not that you can't handle it, it's just when you're trying to build and in your base, when you think you have enough, like I should have enough light or this is not com becoming a constant, but it doesn't seem like light is affecting them anymore. And I got light everywhere. Okay, drop some of this off. What else? I don't know if anybody else is feeling the same type of frustrations. And maybe it's just me. All right. See, now I lost my train of thought. I don't even know what I was going to do. What was I needing? I needed something. I moved away for the corruption. Oh, the water. Gah. 15. All right. I hope that's enough. Let's see if this works. All right, here we go. Okay, so it is transparent, so I'm going to have to fill in. I'm going to have to fill in behind it just because that doesn't look good. But yeah, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. All right, let me finish this up, and then I'll bring you guys back. All right, definitely got some mood light lighting going on here. Um, I just got to check. thought I saw, heard some people coming to attack me. Okay, so definitely have some mood lighting. I put some down here in the corners. Ooh, that's not expected, but it's okay. As long as it doesn't come forward anymore, I'm okay with that. So now let's throw in, oh, you know what? Let me get this, fill this in. Okay. So let's throw this. So that, see, I can jump over this. Now, hopefully, the mobs can't. So let's go get that corrupted Miru that we got. Oh, we got two of them. Follow. All right. Let's get these guys. Oh, hey, hello. 
Nothing too exciting. There we go. Okay, come on. Where are you? There's one. Where's the other guy? There they are. All right, come on, guys. Come in your home. All right, we'll see if this keeps him in there. And right away, no, it doesn't. Okay. Right away, they're out. Well, that's not... No. I hope that this guy kind of wanders around and gets into a position where I can place him. No, nope, I don't want him going out. Slight little tiny movements. Stay. Stay right there. Now you, sir, right over here. Oh, ah. Man, all I want you to do, turn around. Just turn around, slightly. Oh, geez. Come on. This is the part that's frustrating. These guys just don't move very easily. Seems if I do wonder real fast. Nope. Let's see if we can get him down on this rock. There you go. Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. Okay. All right, not too bad. I definitely don't have enough of the corruption guys to put in here. That's going to have to be a different episode because, as you all know now, it is crazy hard to tame and get these guys in, especially in the corruption area. Uh, just going down there to get some of the supplies was chaotic. So I'm going to stick with this right now. This one over here, I'll think about some of the other areas because as I come through, you know, I'd like to be able to, oh, here's my guys. I can farm them. Here's these guys. And then some more over here. And then probably wrap this around as we go. But uh, you know, I won't do all of these at one time because it's just way too much. So we'll do one or two here and there. Uh, let me know what areas you think should be next. Let me know what you think about this three-walled versus the pillar. Obviously, it doesn't make a difference with keeping them in here. I'm still going to have to lock them. But this doesn't line up exactly. But I could do a combination of the two. Start it here, do a two roof through and keep the pillar. I mean, that's something we could do. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, you know, and then that'll be it for today. So until next time, appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you later. Totally forgot about these guys. So I think they'll follow me and they'll teleport. So let's just go up and we'll see how this goes. Once again, I'm up. They're right here with me. Let's put these guys over here. Come on. Oh. This guy. Stay. It's chisered. What was that sound? Come on, Chizzard. Come on, there you go. Let's just leave you right there for right now. Okay, now that I remember those guys, for real this time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next episode.